Okay. <laughs> hello, 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 everyone. Just making sure that everything is up and ready and running. So give me a moment. Things are changing rapidly on Facebook. So I'm just making sure that everything is in order um, because um, the streaming suite is continuously evolving um, and it's so interesting. Um, so give me a moment as I come into this space and also if you're here live, just say hello. I'd love to say hello to you as well. Um, and if you're on the replay, just say hashtag replay, all the good juicy stuff that we usually um, like to just make known of your presence and I'll get started. All right, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm just going to pop into the group and make sure that I'm there. If you see me, just let me know because <laughs> that will help me very much. <laughs> okay, I think I see myself. Perfect. Okay, beautiful ones. So just to start off, I want to um, just elaborate on what you see in the description box when you see this video. Yes, I have a retreat and accelerator incubator coming up. I call it a VIP day, but it's actually a two day VIP retreat. It's called Re birth and it is going to be divine it's going to be on a weekend so that you have ample time to just immerse yourself in this beautiful alchemical world and also integrate all of those beautiful juicy stuff that's happening so as you can see i have early bird spaces available right now the prices will go up after the 11th of july so if you're sitting on the fence you want to jump in jump in right now because it is amazing what we're going to do is is we're gonna have the all the juicy stuff that I do I don't hold back anything I bring you into this beautiful alchemical world where you reconnect the mind body and spirit to activate your feminine power and your wildest dreams and it's not gonna happen anymore because this is something that really came through me as a transmission like hmm I want to open the space up to people who are really new to my work and want to experience it like never before. And so this retreat was born from that intention. So aside from all of the juicy things that you're going to learn to embody as the goddess that you are, you're going to learn how to clear the subconscious blocks that are really holding you back from realizing your true magnificence. You are going to also enter a space held in ceremony. You're going to tap into your embodied wisdom and truly transform into this beautiful, beautiful light. Okay, so one thing I'm going to be real with is in two days, that transformation is absolutely possible if you are open to that transformation. But because I know that that could be a gateway and a portal and the very, very first beginnings of a huge transformation, I'm actually opening up a space, a special space for just this retreat where you can connect with me online for the three weeks after the retreat so that your integration can be as smooth as possible. Because it is true, you are going to break free from playing small and you're going to clear all the resistance to showing up fully and unapologetically. But sometimes it takes time for some people. And these are the things that I'm going to talk about a little bit now about the Tao as the mysterious feminine. And if this is something that you truly want to get in touch with, that you truly want to get into, get into the VIP day retreat because it is absolutely potent. It's going to be amazing. We're going to just allow the divine to take us through into this beautiful medicine that's going to open you up to your full potential and in fact that full potential is absolutely limitless so i want you to know this is deeply deeply available for you if you want to jump in jump in right now the link is in the description box and also a uh, link in my bio okay so let's dive in my loves let's dive in all right so <sighs> take a deep breath with me my loves all right so today i had some really divine um transmissions coming through and I shared that with my clients exclusively in the immersion but what I can tell you today is that I want to bring you back into a very very beautiful um, transformational space and that 
that space exists within us. It is the soul that speaks to us. It is the beautiful Tao that I talk about a lot in here. And the Tao itself is a unified field. It's unity and it's also it's also wholeness, right? What we know as wholeness, but it's also divided into different parts in our manifested life. It's in everything that we see. It's in you, it's in the trees, it's in the clouds, it's in the rivers, it's in this table that holds my laptop, it's in this laptop. Everything has a Tao and even though we sometimes really, really overlook the inanimate objects around us, they themselves have a Tao that exists. And to bring it back into our space here to talk about you, Divine Woman, how you can transcend and truly bring yourself into a space where you are working with this unified field of light and potent limitlessness, it is crucial for you to first uncover that Tao, to connect yourself back with that Tao, and come from a space where you're always walking in alignment with that Tao. So ancient Taoists have always, always been more interested in how we can truly allow the descending spirits to manifest out of us. And this is so important because I know there is so much energy right now that is supporting us to become more enlightened as a cosmic being. We are remembering all these different dimensions of lives that we've had. We are coming into a space where we are deeply attuned to something that is beyond this physical body. Yes, all of you here probably have had this experience and you're out there sharing your gifts and sharing your healing energy, all the potency that you carry is awakening and awakening and awakening, right? So that is one of the things that I realized that, wow, okay, this is super powerful. This is something that lots and lots of beautiful women are awakening to. But why are they all consistently falling back, falling down, or feeling dejected, or feeling like they cannot be bigger than they are right now, feeling like they are too much, not enough, feeling like they are consistently met with rejection or ostracization or people who want to control who they are, right? When I came into that space, I realized that, okay, there is something here that is amiss. And for my own journey, coming from a space where I was very, very much anorexic to finally reconnecting with my body, I was beginning to feel a lot of things going through my body. I felt charges and energy and just so much frequencies going on in my body that because I didn't know where I was, what was happening basically, I had to really, really go back into a place where everything made me feel so damn small that finally I succumbed to that darkness and I asked myself, what is it that I need to do now in order for me to rise like a phoenix out of this trench, this dark hole that I'm finding myself in? And I remember at that time, the first thing that really came to me was a very, very physical manifestation of an injury and that injury caused me to slow down like I had to because I couldn't move any further it was a foot injury I couldn't run anymore and I had to get into yoga and I had no idea what it was at that time and so when I first moved into that space I began to realize that I don't actually need to have speed and to be doing a lot in order to get into a body that feels healthy and truly, truly aligned with who I am. 
that was the first moment when I began to really feel all these energies moving in my body. And when I harnessed that through meditation, something in me broke open. And for me to understand that later, um, I actually understood that as the Kundalini energy because I remember it snaking up out of my spine. And I could see myself rising and my astral being really moving out of me and actually looking back down. And I could see a 360 degree view. That was the first experience I ever had that was truly transcendental. But because at the time I didn't have a mentor or any guides or I wasn't even in spiritual world at all, um, I had no idea what was going on with me. And all I knew was that I could keep, I have to keep going back to this space only through this, you know, the replication of what happened, which was meditation, meditation, and meditation. But what I realized was I couldn't take that feeling I cultivated in that meditative space out into the real world. I was still hitting against walls. I was still pretending to be something else. I was still playing small, trying to make sure everyone's okay and I'm not okay. <laughs> you know, all of those things that we do as a human as well when we're experiencing this human life. So what followed swiftly was I pretty much, again, got down to my knees and I really came down to a place where I was like, okay, I, I really don't know what's going on. Can you please tell me, like, show me a way, universe, show me a way. And that was when I crossed paths with Cha or Tea, Tea Spirit. And that is when I first started to open the gateway to what is known as Cha Dao, which is also known as the way of Tea. Dao is the way and Cha is Tea. And through many, many beautiful interwoven aspects and fears and all of the doubts that I had, I kind of moved through them because this spirit was calling up to me very, very, very loudly in her gentlest way, obviously. And I just, I just knew there was a certainty in me that I just knew that I had to go on this path. I had to learn no matter what happens eventually after that, it doesn't matter. Like I just knew that I have to go on this path and study with the mentor and really learn to come into a space to learn the language of tea. Through tea, I learned about the Tao. And this is what I'm going to talk about today, the Tao as the mysterious feminine. I learned that alchemy really lies in the journey of the Tao. And when I talk about alchemy, it's a lot about how we can begin to move and feel into those darkest lead parts, like, you know, those dirty soil and what we call the suffering and the losses and the grief and anger, um, or even trauma, all of these labels that we see out in the world. If we are able to feel into that and face up with that wholeheartedly, unattached to the outcomes of what will happen, we will begin to move into a place of alchemy. And what that really means in the Taoist alchemy aspect is the descending of spirits into what is called the yin spirits. There are the yin spirits and the yang spirits, right? Because the heavenly yang spirits, you can just imagine they're right up here and they're divine and they're pure and they also understood that these spirits can only remain as an abstraction. Oh, hello, beautiful. How are you, my love? Um, some life. If you can share your real name, I would love to hear. <laughs> so going back to the young spirits, they are very much an, ex ex an, an abstraction. They are formless. And you can kind of equate that with the spiritual body outside of us. And the, the ultimate truth is that the spiritual body is the energy that is consistently funneling in, is channeling in, and it wants to come in to this reality. And when it comes into this dimension, it manifests as a, this body. And that is what we call the yin spirits. The yin spirits manifest as matter, as nature, as this body. Okay, this is Mother Earth as well, by the way. Anything that has the gravity that pulls down the young spirits that are formless, it is here as the divine alchemy. And the weight of gravity, to be honest, 
is pure love. It is the frequency of love that brings in gravity. Ah, uh, hi, beautiful. Oh, Luke, I love that name. I'm like obsessed with um, uh, the Mandalorian lately. So someone called Luke popping up on my feed is like one of the biggest signs I could ever have. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so... So let's go back into that space where you're beginning to see the young spirits falling through, right? It's funneling in, it's coming down, it's intermingling with the soil, the rain, and it's starting to crystallize. It's, it's the crystallization of the Tao because the Tao is formless. The, the Tao is great and unnamed. And when it starts to come down and then meshing with the rain and the soil of earth, it becomes the breath we inhale and exhale. It becomes the vapor that comes from the boiling kettle. It becomes the clouds that sweeps across the mountains and the dew drops that hangs from the leaves uh, of the tree, right? That is the crystallization of the Tao. And that is why at the beginning of this chat, I said the Tao is in every single thing you see. You know, it's the crystallization of the formlessness that is the unity consciousness in this form here in this dimension. The Taoist alchemists actually also call this crystallization the birth of the golden flower. So it's really, really divine and it's really, really beautiful in that way. And they call the natural world the mysterious feminine because they see all matter as the cauldron in which transformation or alchemy happens. And I just want to put this out there. Transformation in this sense, it's really not like a restoration back to your old self. Transformation means truly a renewed, a totally new consciousness, a totally new possibility that is presented in front of you and in you. So when the descent from the mountain of the yang spirits or also known as shen uh, it comes down you know it starts to come down we will begin to see that the yin spirits come up it rises up and when they intermingle that's when the transformation happens that's when the cracking open happens right that's for me meeting t spirit going through the transformation of getting back in touch with my body, listening to the soul, understanding the language of the soul through my body was able to, I was able to finally see and feel the embodied wisdom that's coming through this transformational um, phase. So when we finally feel into our fears and rejected parts, the alchemy begins as we begin to reverse the light. So this is when you come back to the yin and yang symbol. You always see a dot in the in the center, right, of each parts of it. That is what I mean that there is no separation. There is a yin in the yang and there's a yang in the yin. So when we drop down, we continue to descend down, right? We are going all the way down. We descend down deeper into the metal element of us. We descend down into the most inner parts of us, the watery underworld, right? This is where the underworld of another form of the divinity known as the yin and yin spirits, they reside here. This is where you tap into your past lives, your karmic ties, your cellular memories, your archetypes, like things that run your subconscious and even the collective unconscious, actually. This is where, I, when I work with my clients, we go in very often with the guidance of tea spirit and to really meet what I call the dark goddess. The dark goddess is also known as the queen mother of the West in Taoist alchemy. She is the one who sits on a cinnabar throne in the very womb of this mysterious feminine. And I say womb because it really is a place where you go back in, you know, there will be death and there will be a rebirth and there will be transformation. And the queen mother will take what you are ready to release and she will fertilize the soil of the alchemy and you will see the mystery unfold. The mystery will begin to unfold and the, the, the amount of mystery that unfolds will really depend on how much 
readiness you have like how open are you to crack open <laughs> you know like how how much are you going to allow you know what 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 are you ready to release because you know we all want to be able to you know read the akashic records or or tap into past lives like all these things are amazing you want to have the, that intuitive gift come up for you and you want to honor that to honor that you have to come home to nothingness you have to be ready to empty out completely you have to be ready to come home to that 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 zero point where you begin again and it is a beautiful space to be and i know this brings a lot of terror sometimes to people because they'll be like oh that means that i have to give up everything in my life or like oh this thing will drop away or this thing will fall away or they'll leave me or i will lose everything but actually what happens when you live in this way you know at every point in your life that asks you to return home yeah it really is connecting us deeper to a greater life force beyond us and it consistently brings us that compassion embodied wisdom and truly truly seats us in this vortex of stillness and in fact, you become that vortex of stillness. You become infinite possibilities. You are infinite possibilities. You don't have infinite possibilities because now you're owning, you're embodying the truth of who you are. You embody the fact that you are an eternal soul. And as an eternal soul being human, you're here to continue to rise up, to intermingle the yang and yin spirits understanding that they are never separate that is what it means to be human right this is when you begin to see the divine light rise through the dark waters there is always a symbiotic relationship between light and dark there are no dualities no separation it is through the darkest hours of our lives that we transform and elevate into our true magnificence this is something i want you to understand because we can read all the books that we want we can we can wise up to all the lectures and the talks and whatever it is by the spiritual gurus that we, we admire and honor but if you cannot embody the enlightenment that comes to you you will consistently find yourself falling backward you will consistently find yourself playing small you will consistently find yourself resisting change and once you resist change it really gets very hard to love your life it will feel really hard to find any purpose and even feel authentic at all in your life so if you are a woman and i know luke is watching but you know what <laughs> i love or i i love that you know um everyone here on instagram gets to see this and if you want to watch the replay you're very welcome to join siren goddess collective um i work with creative feminine leaders and if you want to live on purpose in your authentic power if you want to learn and understand how you can rise to your multidimensionality while staying fully present to life on earth by embracing your deepest fears and insecurities it's gonna be fucking powerful and i urge you to really come in join the two-day vip retreat it's gonna be amazing it's really about when i say embracing your deepest fears and insecurities it's not something to fear and i want you to know it's time that we all stop fearing those things because we're fearing ourselves, and that is the biggest fear that holds everyone back when you are held back by that there is only a certain amount of things you can do in your life because they are all um, designed by the mind and the mind consistently thinks that it's working on its own when the reality is that you're meant to work by mind, body, and soul. When you reconnect these things together, it's like the light bulbs just go and you're just fully lit up. That is what it means to come back to the unified field of cosmic intelligence and allow that to support you. You're not working alone, right? You are an internal soul 
and you're here to manifest the life that you're born to have and it's a beautiful life it's a beautiful life without any exception so this is what i'm really observing in beautiful women okay who are really up leveling in consciousness it's happening faster and faster for us because we are spinning in so many energies right now and it is more important than ever to anchor in that expansion because because there is no point for all of us to be rising in consciousness and not really landing because when you're not landing here in this dimension you're not able to give from an overflow you're not able to serve with your gifts you're struggling to embody the richness of your gifts and you're just giving and giving and giving from and then suffering more and more and more because you're not taking care of what you have in here your essence is depleting every single time and you're not feeling it back up right so all of these conditionings and programming they have to go right and the things that you keep throwing down into the basement that you don't want to feel you don't want to look at those things need to be released and I do this in a lush transformative space I know that it can be difficult for some women but trust me the work can be done in a very divine way held by potent medicine by ancient wisdom and all of those beautiful things that we call embodiment practices and all of the ancient Taoist alchemical healing methodology that is here to support your ascension okay so yeah all of you all of you the mind body and spirit you know you have to really avoid the issue stop avoiding the issue because the more you avoid feeling the earlier you will pretty much face your imminent death like truly because the energy will manifest as a physical ailment a physical illness and it really is something that i'm so passionate about because there is so much power in turning to the knowledge that is available for you when you begin to work with all of you all of you yes the mind body and spirit <sighs> okay my love so i have spoken enough um if you have any questions i want you to know that you are so welcome to drop me a comment or a dm or if you're ready join the vip days and i will be so honored to serve you my loves sending you big kisses and i will speak to you very soon <laughs>